John, this is Mrs. Kendall. She would very much like to make your acquaintance. Good morning, Mr. Bennett. I will um, see to a few matters. I will be back soon. I planned so many things to say. I forgot them. <laughs> You are so beautiful. How charming, Mr. Merrick. Well, actually, that is what I had planned to say. <laughs> but I forgot what I had planned to say. I couldn't think of anything else. I was so excited. The real charm is always planned, don't you think? Well, I do not know why I look like this, Mrs. Kendall. My mother, she was so beautiful. She was attacked by an elephant in the circus while she was pregnant. Something must have happened, don't you think? May well have. May well have. But sometimes, I think my head is so big because it is so full of dreams. Because it is. Do you know what happens when dreams cut the out? I know. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Something must. Even more company than you can provide. In fact, 
by being acquainted with the very best and name of theory. I should like to make this my task, if you'll permit. As you know, I'm friends with nearly everyone, and I do pretty well what I please, and what pleases me is this task, I think. By God, Mrs. Kendall, you are splendid. Mr. Merrick, I must go now, but I should like to return again, if I may, and so that we may, without delay, teach you about society. I should like to bring my very good friend, Dorothy, Lady Neville. She would be most pleased to get to meet you. Let me tell her, yes. <laughs> then, until next time, I'm sure your church model will surprise us all. Mr. Merrick, it has been a very great pleasure to make your acquaintance. <clears throat> your hand, John. She wishes to shake your hand. Thank you.